What's at St. Luke's Theater on 46th Street every Wednesday at 2.30 and 8 o'clock, you ask? Or as the kids say, you ax? It's Unbroken Circle. You must come see it. Uh, a southern drama with a lot of larks. Anyway, the point is, come see it. Uh, here's a little interview with some of the cast members. You're going to hear from Anika Larson and Susanna Hay and Stacey Bone Gleason. Here we go. Unbroken Circle, behind the music. Wait, it's, it's not a musical. Or is it too close? In HD, back up. Okay, I'm sitting here with my good friend, Anika Larson. By the way, I dare you to find a pore on her face. <laughs> Literally pour the skin. Okay, anyway, the point is, um, describe your character in the show. I'm Aunt Edna. I am the daughter who got out at 15. I got out, I went to college, I have a great job in Austin, Texas, and uh, a boatload of guilt as a result. You know, you know that feeling when you go back to your house for Thanksgiving and to your family again? How many years has it been since you really- 25 seen? since I've been home. So, yeah. imagine that feeling times 8,000. Okay, so first of all, Aunt Larson, what attracted you to doing the role of Edna in the first place? Uh, well, it's exciting for me. This is the first, this is literally after how many years of being in New York City, uh, the first straight play, non-musical, I've ever been hired to do as a professional actor. Okay. Woo yeah, amazing actor, went to Yale. I am devastated though, because it makes me a little crazy like when I run Robert Lesparza or Robert Leo Buzz do a play, I'm like, please God sing, because you know, Anika's amazing Beltris, by the way, first white girl to actually have the solo in Seasons of Love and Rent, right? Yep. For Rizzle, totally true. And into the hope, I wish there was some singing on Broken Circle, so I'm gonna make Anika answer a question. I'm gonna create a god that's just singing the answer. So um, <laughs> we're opening on Broadway on Broken Circle. How many audience people do you hope come to see the show? 525,600 people. I wanted the last one a little longer. People. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here with Susanna Hay, who plays the matriarch of the family. Now, first of all, you got this role essentially through Margo Martindale. How do you guys even know each other? Margo Martindale and I met in 1983 at the Actors Theatre of Louisville. She was going on tour of, um, not Vanities, what was the show where the rapist was... Oh, Extremities. Extremities. She was that was a last on... minute. <laughs> yeah, she was great in it. She was going on tour with that to Japan, and I was in uh, Christmas Carol, White Chicks, and uh, Of My and Man. Who's the other? There are three sassy ladies out there. It was you, Margo, and who else? Oh, in the... In Louisville. Was it not... Uh, who's with you? Deborah Monk. Debbie Monk is there. Debbie Monk. Yeah, know that well. No. Anywho. I'm sorry, no. Deborah Monk. Yeah. Disrespectful. What attracted you to Unbroken Circle? Uh, well, I liked the part. Uh, it, was, it was a part for a, uh, an older woman that didn't involve saying the court will come to order or here's your medicine, Mr. Radetzky, you know. Exactly. Like that. So it was great to have a role with some meat in it. And I've done a lot of new plays, so it was fun to have the opportunity to work on another new play and shape it and create a character for the first time. That's always a great thing to get to do. Okay, everyone I know that's seen it has been obsessed. It always comes back to me, oh my god, that woman, that woman, that woman. It's such a realistic portrayal. So let me just say the character, uh, just excuse me the difference, the character of Ruby is really sort of a stubborn, no-nonsense, won't-take-bull-from-anyone woman who lives in Texas. So what's the difference between Ruby and you? I don't live in Texas. Move this way. <laughs> Scared of her. So I'm sitting here with Stacey Bone Gleason. As you know, I'm Seth Rudetsky Wesley. And it's the who. Um, why don't you describe your character? Well, I play Kathy, who's the 18-year-old uh, daughter who's about to go away to college. And uh, the whole play kind of revolves around um, secrets. And my character is one who has a lot of deep secrets that are revealed. Yeah, we're not, not secret deodorant, like literally secret. <laughs> Anybody has a 70s reference? Any to the who, what attracted you to doing Unbroken Circle? Um, well, I have uh, known Jason for a long time. And the he, original director. The original director. From NYU, right? Yeah, from NYU. Um, and he kind of brought me into the fold, and I was really um, excited by the script when he sent it to me. And then um, when we moved here to Off-Broadway, um, I also knew that this would make me equity and get me my equity card, which is a big deal. She's now an official union member. Card-carrying member. Is that exciting? Um, okay, so the difference between the two theaters, when we first began with this equity showcase in this crazy small theater here, I feel the emotions can breathe. So when the show begins, you know, her character's all like, you know, 18 years old, and even though it's the day of a funeral, she has a date. She's like, Mama, I want to go on a date. And you can have your breakdown with some space around you. Why don't you describe to my viewing audience what it was like 
in that other space when they were watching the show. The first scene was essentially like this for them. Hit it. Mom, I want to go to the right now! It was uncomfortable. So come see Unbroken Circle. By the way, the website is unbrokencircletheplay.com. We couldn't get unbrokencircle.com. I think, I think it's like a porn site or something. Anyway, don't go to that site. Unbrokencircletheplay.com. Watch the other videos with more interviews from the cast. Thank you very much to Anika Larson, Stacey Bong Gleason, and Susanna Hay, who I call Susanna. Hey! Anybody? Nobody. That's what my shirt says. <laughs>